I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. However, all we have now is you. This may have dashed the Federation's hopes. What do you mean? What do you know that we don't? I can't tell you over the comlink. Can you come over to my ship? If that's okay with you, Quark and the Federation aren't exactly friends. The Aqua Ellie is my ship. And on my ship, I decide who is friend or foe. And if anyone objects, they can visit the brig while you're here. We'll be there shortly. Excellent. Commodore, I have a request. What is it? We want to go to Federation Station 5, Moon Base. But they would never let us near them on a Clausian ship. I'd like to ask you to take us there in the Aqua Ellie. Moon Base? That's where Dr. Leingod's research lab is. That's right. Go to Moon Base for my father's dying words. I think he meant for us to go there and find the truth. Yes. But after Dr. Leingod was captured, we searched the lab's database thoroughly. Yet we did not find any useful information. Still, we'd like to check for ourselves. You might have overlooked something, and there may be some things that would only interest us. That's right. And there are most likely things in there that only we would understand. Right. Understood. We'll transmit a homing beacon. Bring only the minimum number of personnel required. Thank you, Commodore. Then we have a deal? Yes. Oh, and about Earth. You had better brace yourselves. Huh? Brace yourselves? Wonder what he means. I suppose we'll find out when we get there. Only we will go to the Aqua Ellie. Stand down weapons and wait until further notice. Mirage and Marietta, take care of her while we're gone. Roger. Captain? I mean, Maria? Don't worry about us. We'll take care of things here. We have Lancar and the others to keep us company. Be careful. Thanks. So, we've got Nell back. Yay for that. I do like Nell. <laughs> but we've got another person on our team now. You probably might have already guessed it, but yeah. This is Lieutenant Fields. Uh, we've got to go straight to the corridor, so we're just going to ignore him a little bit. It will take a while to reach Moon Base. Let me explain the situation in the meantime. The two of you in particular have been on Elicor for some time and probably know little of what is going on. Please, fill us in. The Earth and the entire galaxy are facing an unprecedented threat. You're not talking about the war with Vendine and Aldian, are you? That is correct. I imagine you are also aware of those powerful bursts of energy? Yes, exceeding magnitude 3, right? They were aimed at Earth. The planetary defense shield managed to partially block the attack, but it still caused considerable damage. It was too much for the planetary defense shield? Yes, and those energy bursts were a message 
A declaration of war. Declaration of war? What alien power has the ability to mount such a devastating long-range attack? A new power, previously unknown to us. Emissaries of an entity known as the Creator. They call themselves the Executioners. Enforcers of the Creator. Come to sentence us to our death. The Creator? Yes. It is not uncommon for dictators to claim divine origin. Their message states that our science has delved into forbidden areas, and thus the Creator has decreed our annihilation. That's insane. Sounds like a plain old invasion to me. We believe that is correct. They are, without a doubt, a power to be reckoned with. They have technology far exceeding our own. So in other words, we better say our prayers. Take a look at this. This is the Earth. And this shows our attempt to use our space stations to trace the route of the energy blasts. Their energy blasts passed through an unknown dimensional space, faster than the speed of light. An unknown dimensional space? Indeed. The blast traveled through neither subspace nor gravitic space. This alone hints at the capabilities of their technology. Shockingly, the energy pulses were released from an uncharted region over 50,000 light years away. 50,000 light years? Yes, the data stunned us. Several of our analysts rushed to get their eyes examined. Have they sent out a fleet? We don't know. If there is one, we haven't detected it. Still, a declaration of war has been made. Surely it will not be long. An attack by a fleet of such power would spell trouble for the Federation. This is bad. So this means Kloss, Vendeen, and Aldian are all in deep trouble. Yes, and it seems Vendeen was attempting to capture and use the Federation's secret weapon. They would consider any offer of cooperation with the Federation an insult. Secret weapon. Me. Correct. That is what I've been told. Apparently, Dr. Leingod and his team developed you after they detected the Executioner's presence years ago. But frankly, you do not look like much of a weapon to me. How can a man of flesh and blood fight a fleet of starships? Yet it was I who destroyed the battleship Invisible. What? You did that? Yes. Like fate, I too am the product of Dr. Leingod's genetic engineering. I see. Is that so? Only upper echelons of the Federation were privy to Dr. Leingod's top secret research. But if what you say is true, if there is another, then we may have a chance. Unfortunately, our powers are still unreliable. We can't just invoke them whenever we want. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. Neither of us can fully control our powers. Perhaps the late Dr. Leingod placed some means of security on you. Losing him was a great tragedy. Another reason we need to get to my father's lab on Moon Base. Yes, but as I said before, the lab's database has already been searched. Don't expect too much. Maybe you're right. When I investigated the lab before, I found no information of that kind. <sighs> if we cannot rely on your powers, we shall have to face the executioners with what we have. Bridge to Commodore. Yes? We have a transmission from Federation Station 9. Give me a display. Right away, sir. Commodore! Attacked by a group calling themselves the Enforcers! Requesting immediate... Those aren't ships! 
What are they? Are they gods? We've lost the signal. Report from headquarters. Federation Station 9 has been obliterated. Obliterated? Orders, Commodore? Commodore? Yes. Yes, I know. Maintain our present course to Earth. Not a ship. Did I hear him say what I think he said? What could this mean? I think he's saying the Executioners are gods. No god would kill as they do. Whatever they are, I fear we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. Twelve hours flight time to Earth. Okay. Connect me with headquarters. Yes, sir. Connecting. This is the Aqua Ellie calling fleet headquarters. Hermes here. This is Whitcomb, sir. What's our situation, Admiral? You probably already know, but we've lost stations 8, 9, 31, 36, and 42. The enemy has not been identified, but we do know they are, in all likelihood, headed straight for Earth. I see, sir. Our orders? Stay your present course. Other ships are being dispatched to block the enemy. Battleships and combat explorers have already been deployed. 162 ships are stationed around Earth, 112 around Station 9, and 215 around Station 20. Understood, sir. Oh, and Commodore. Word is the Enforcers have already attacked and destroyed Aldium. What? They were the closest to the enemy's point of origin. Though we were not friends, I mourn their loss. The same fate awaits us if we don't keep our wits. It's the most powerful threat the Federation has ever faced. Yet in the past, we've always managed to overcome difficulty. Godspeed, Commodore. Yes, sir. Over and out. We must get to Federation Station Number 5 at once and carry out our mission. Agreed. So, Aldkin's been wiped out, and there's a lot of ships around Earth. Um, I don't think it's going to be enough. But yes, we have got Nell back, and we've also got Sophia now. She is part of our team. She's only level 1, but uh, she is here. We need to get her up to the same level as everyone else pretty rapidly. Luckily, with only 10 experience needed for her next level, that's actually going to happen quite soon. Uh, I need to equip some items on her. She has a Crescent Rod, which only has 13 attack. But she can also use the Fragile Metal Pipe from way back earlier in the game. Actually, I think that's a bit better because it has a bit of a higher hit ratio on it. Yeah, we'll put that on for the moment. We'll be getting a better weapon very soon. There's a rope, which uh, only gives five defense, but she can only wear light armor, so that's fine. And I need to give her some uh, stuff, I guess. Uh, where are they? Regeneration symbols. She will need these a lot. There's a reason for that. She is probably the best caster in the game. Long range attack. She gets lots of spells and hopefully I'll be able to show them. Now on the other hand we know what all about her so uh, let's put her back in the party. 
Uh, no, I want that as my uh, team for the moment. Uh, yeah, that should do. And what I definitely need to do is I need to take on, as my leader, Sophia. What she's going to be doing with, uh, what I'm going to be doing with her is basically running around in circles and using items to heal. Because level one, she's not going to be too much and she's going to be a very big detriment in a fight until she gets her levels up. So we're just going to go with that. Uh, Federation Station 12, uh, 20 was destroyed by the uh, it's, it's torn to shreds like so much paper. 42. Easily destroyed by the executioners. Uh, that was easily destroyed. And another one. I do believe there was one that uh, didn't actually get destroyed. Uh... Yeah, this, this one. I think it was it. Uh, fought out not to be combat ready. Those there is no... And... Thank you. Uh, there is no doubt that the base's commander was responsible for the unexpected rapid defeat of the base because it was not used to being ready for combat. Hmm. And first military based uh, attacked and destroyed by the yeah, executioners. So yeah, they're on their way their way to earth. Come on screen, stop doing that. I haven't done that in a while, so stop doing it. Simultaneously aimed at the Audian Empire, mm. and it took a direct hit, and the world was destroyed by it. So that's a lot of firepower. Engine's fine. And they're still five, 300 light years away from Earth. I don't think it's going to take them long to get there. To be honest. Okay. First place I need to go is to... The... Uh... Leave the living quarters because I need to go and talk to Sophia, or is it Maria? Probably one of the uh, one or the other. Come on, game. There you go. Is this is this the one side I want? Uh, There's my room, so I need to go. I do believe I need to rest in there to make the next thing happen. There's Cliff. And Cliff is laid back as usual. And he's got a hunch that everything's going to be fine, which it will be. Uh, that's just a normal crew member. If you want to talk to uh, any of the small people, you can do. I'm not going to. I'm just going to concentrate on my team and what they have to say. 
unless there, uh, unless it's a special uh, interaction, which I believe is there isn't any in this place except for with our team. What are you up to? I'm accessing the database over at Line Guard Research Lab on Moonbase. My father's lab? I thought I could get a head start with a remote search, but it didn't work. I know nothing more than the last time I checked. When you checked before, could you show me what you found? I could, yes. Please, I'd like to see it. Okay. We are currently involved in research on special symbols that exhibit extraordinary effects when embedded in the human gene. Although my research is banned by Federation law, it is far too important to abandon now. I'm conducting my research in secret with the help of my wife, Ryoko, Jesse Trador, and Dr. Esteed. Over the past few years, we have successfully developed two special symbols, destruction and alteration, the power to destroy and the power to alter. We have selected our own children to be test subjects. Jesse protested, but I believe it to be an even greater sin to use the children of others. Although we are tormented by our guilt, we had no other choice. We have embedded destruction in my son and alteration in Jesse's daughter. There are no signs of rejection at this point. Our research was a success. We've now achieved our initial goal. The next step is to track their development. No way. This is how I first learned about you. I still don't know what purpose your father had in doing this, but I do know for sure that they embedded special symbols within each of us. I wonder how they intended us to use our powers. I'd rest much easier if I knew. We may learn more when we get our hands on the research lab's database. I agree. It's our only hope. Let's place faith in what your father said. There must be something there at the lab. Right. That was a young looking Dr. Langot, wasn't it? So... That was from quite a few years back. Before... Really any of this happened in the Everyone grew up. Maybe they were hoping that they wouldn't have to use their son and you know, the son and the daughter's son and daughter as uh, the weapons that they made them into. Uh, she could have known, but. They did tend to say uh, Dr. Esteed, so her mother likely didn't, so she must not have known. And they were keeping secrets from a lot of people. Yeah, everything that's been happening does it does seem real, doesn't it? it? Does seem very real. And I believe Nell has this room. There she is. She's just uh, sort of pottering along with us now. 
she doesn't really have a lot of in the actual uh, game, uh, a lot of interactions with the actual game now, uh, because she was one of the optional characters. She doesn't really have a lot in this the rest of the game, but she is going to be with us for the throughout the, it now. This is the hollow room. You can pretty much use the quad, uh, quad scanner like it says to create a virtual space. We can literally go to an armorer, uh, outfit, um, so weapons and armor, outfitter. So we can go uh, to an item shop or workshop. This workshop is based on paternies, which I'm going to show. Which is very important because anyone you've put in the Pantone Way workshop is actually available here. As you can see, Michelle and Liza were based in the Pantone workshop, so they are now here and they can be used. You can transfer inventors here to actually use them, which is quite important for later. So I will be working with that a bit more. And it's also the reason why I set up that all the lines were available and all the equipment stuff were available in Paterni, because this one is the most important. Plus if you need your destruction ring recharged, there's a bunny there. Go back in the thing and you're back out. What I want to do is I want to check the uh, other two, the armor and the outfitter, see if there's any items. And again, they are based in the paternity shops. So, pretty much in Anything that is in Paterni is available here. So, do we have anything needed? Uh, not really. Any armor for. Yes, I can get a cloak for Sophia, which is important. So I need a bit more defence on her. It's not much. I believe it's only one extra defence. Yeah. Because it's got defence plus five. But uh, really the agility is better. So I'm going to keep her with the robe. And finally the outfitter. Again, shop in Paterni, so anything that is in Paterni is available to uh, buy and get your character for, uh, to get for your character. I need to buy some fresh sages because I used a lot of those. Intellect plus 50, that's not too bad. Attack plus 20, that is pretty bad because there's better ones. Just there, with the, da the Damask plus 100. I believe there's a plus 1000, which is much more important. Uh, let's get them too. Yellow Talisman reduces stun chance by 10%, excludes AAAs. Uh, no, I don't really want them. Uh, approach of footwork. 10% increase in attack and hit. Yes, please. I'll need them later. Let's get some more aqua potions. 30% MP recovery. Bit of potion. No. Uh... Oh, I can get some more combat training books. Excellent. I need three more. Yes. 
flare bomb, I'll take that. Uh, anything that really isn't food, I'm sort of wanting. Like earring, no. Uh, super potion, lovely potion, powder. I'm pretty much okay now, I think. That's very nice. I'm going to pick up that. And that. And that. They, they are food items, but they're extremely nice items that might be useful out of combat for emergency healing. Uh, golden curry. Do I need one? I'll pick one up anyway. Um, that's it. Okay. So I've pretty much picked up as much as I can from here now. And I've done all the interactions that are available. So I need to go and rest in my house. Well, not my house my uh, room and we will be at moon base which will happen next time we will go and see what is going on at moon base so until then have a wonderful day have lots of fun goodbye